Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Ingmo. And you are just watching the Pathfinder Kingmaker campaign of me. Um, this is episode 164 already. And we are here in Silver Lake. I think this is the. I think it's called Silver Lake or something like that. And let's run around and talk. The ruddy face waits to you cheerfully. Hello there, Traveler. Good day to you. Good day to us all. Silver Dragon himself turned today into a feast for us. And why, you might ask? All because I forgot my fishing gloves at home. Dragon, feast, what's going on here? I am telling you, I went fishing. But I left my fishing gloves at home. So, so I put it with my hands pulling out the nets. So, so I couldn't fish anymore. So, so I had to go hungry. Had to, but didn't, because fish just started jumping out of the water. So, so our great silver dragon took care of me. He must have been watching, thinking, how will this poor salt ice get by with blistered hands? How will he fish? What will he eat? How about I send some fish ashore for him? Okay, this sounds stupid. Now, I think I'll never bring my fishing gloves again, so... So fish will always jump out of the lake on their own. It'll be great. Okay... Have you ever seen this dragon with your own eyes? Tell me about tell me more about this dragon of yours. Just go to the shore and see for yourself. They jump right out of right, right out of the water. You can barely keep up with collecting and salting them. We made three barrels since the morning dawned. And our barrels are really big, not just any normal barrels. Okay. He's, well, he's a huge dragon, a silver one. It's why he called, he's called Silver Dragon. Yeah, really. He's very kind and always helps us. That lake is one of his footprints. Filled with water. Really? Big footprint for a dragon. That's how we get, we got the lake. I've got one of his scales, it's my lucky charm. The fisher proud can hold out a scale held by a ring around his neck. Eva gave it to me. You can search around for him. Maybe he'll give you one too. Okay. Dragon statue shouldn't exist. Maybe not in other places. Maybe our dragon is one of a kind. Fisher's voice rings with. Have you ever seen this dragon with your own eyes? Sure did. Day before yesterday. Two months ago, too. Bervis the trader says, I'm a fool. And it was just a thundercloud. But you shouldn't listen to him. Okay. So, what exactly has this dragon done to help you? He sent Eva to us. Well, not sent really. Eva was here before, but he was only a hunter, not a dragon's voice. When Eva became the dragon's voice, everything got battered all at once. Most of the bandits disappeared from the roads, monsters stopped attacking us in the woods, and wolves don't eat, even take our cattle anymore. And now there's the fish to top it all. Yeah, the silver dragon is the best dragon ever. Okay, let's talk about this hunter, Eva. Eva, yes, he's a good fellow. 19, we've got a plus 11. Hmm. Ah, if he didn't tell you where he was going, I won't either. Uh chaotic neutral love uh, he tried to tell me where to meet him 
He said, Baroness, look for me at... But then a gust of wind picked up and I couldn't catch the last of it. Hmm. Oh, then you need to go north to the grove. That's where Eva's children are buried. He says there from he stays there from time to time. The fisher sighs sadly. Who is he? He's the dragon's voice. The silver dragon tells him things, and Eva tells us. Like when the dragon chased the wolves from our herd. He told Eva and Eva told us. And when he scared the monsters away, so they wouldn't attack us, he told Eva that too. He got all kinds of good news from Eva. We get all kinds of good news from Eva. Why do you have to remind me of that, Eva? He hasn't the dragon's voice. Wasn't the dragon's voice before? used to live here in a house to the northwest. used to go hunting and tell us all kinds of stories. Like a real bard would. Had a very too, but then... Well, one night his kids ran away, tried to climb to the top of the cliff in the middle of the night. It was a bad night, rainy and dark. They fell down. Far as anyone could tell, the boy probably slipped first, and the girl tried to help him, but she couldn't. Well, too. Farther away, I helped search for them the next morning, and helped bury them. Vicious sighs heavily. Nissa, Eva's wife, she got sick right after and never recovered. And Eva. Well, he went all, and that's when the silver dragon is dead, after talking to him. Okay. Who are you? I, I feel a fisherman, I mean, I was a fisherman when I did, did fish. I don't fish now, so I guess I'm not a fisherman anymore. As he thinks about the title. Mm-hmm. No, we don't attack people. That's great, I think. You know what? You should talk to Eva first. You can ask the Silver Dragon's opinion on the greatness of that. Eva's an important person here, and the dragon is never more important. Is even more important. What if he doesn't want some strange baroness burning around here? Uh, okay, let's talk later, farewell. Okay. <sighs> villager, villager, villager. They don't have names, so they don't need to be talked. <laughs> hmm. Is that the end of the village? Probably. Yep. He also talked about the merchant. Ooh. When wand of burning hands. Let's take this. Brevis! Was this the merchant he was talking about? talk to him. Welcome to Bravis's road sh roadside shop. No, he's a merchant. Yeah, he was talking about... Oh, I'm stupid. Fine clothes. This trader isn't from around here. Judging from his accent, yeah. Can I see your man? Let's see. Um, Let's offer him all the stuff we don't need. And mm -hmm. 
Great board. Yeah. Frost sky. No. We'll keep it. What do you have here? <laughs> Interesting. Cost three hundred and thirty. What's causing all the flood around here? You mean those fish jumping ashore? The trade of France. These fools believe it's thanks to the uh, patron, the Silver Dragon. He supposedly decided to provide the villagers with a feast and sent them this gift. Idiots, I don't know the real reason those fish are jumping, but if it were me, I wouldn't get too close to those fish or take that leak. What? Okay, who is in charge of this village? Eva, he's a resourceful one, to be sure. Made the whole area believe he's some chosen one, the spokesman for the Silver Dragon. The idiots around here listen to everything he says and do whatever he asks. This one seems to have some more insight in politics. It's strange though, after this Eva fellow came to the village, with his sack of silver scales and his ridiculous stories about the silver dragon, things in the area started to change. There was this wood pack used to cut through the local cattle like a housewife cut, cut through vegetables. After Eva got there, here the wolves won't even come close to the local cows. Same with the monsters in the wood. Uh, they don't take step, uh, they don't take one toward the village or its people. It's all pretty strange, if you ask me. Very strange indeed. Surprised to see traders in, a, in such a remote place. I usually buy hides from the local hunters, but sometimes they come up with some rather intriguing trophies. No wonder, though, considered the, considering the number of different beasts living in these woods. Mm. These wares don't look like hunting trophies. They remind me more of some robber's loot. Okay. Plot 13. Uh, that's... I'll have to roll a 12 or better. Hey, and we succeeded, see? We're good. I'm sure I have no idea what you mean, your grace. This is all pretty standard trade around these parts. You know, totally unrelated. I just realized I haven't had an opportunity before to offer a donation to help support our barony. <laughs> Valerie's lips purse with disdain. Those like him think anything can be bought, even laws and rulers. Why don't you start with where you acquired these goods of yours or lawful good? No, you're trying to bribe me. If you ever even think of going back to your old ways, you'll find yourself in some real trouble. Or well, neutral evil, donations are always appreciated. Or well, lawful neutral, not only are you selling stolen wares, but now. You're trying to bribe our way of justice. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, let, let's just do this thing. All right, all right. There's a cave to the north. Some less than law abiding fellows have taken up residence there. If you're being uncharitable, you could call them bandits. I sell things they've collected. But I never robbed anyone myself. You've my word of honor on that. 
Okay. Let's donate. How low? Yeah. Get over it. 4,500 gold pieces is not to be think things sachen and come another time farewell oh there's a girl old Lydica always put broom in conspicuous places everything everyone will think that you're so busy <laughs> These notes have seen better days. Looks like no one took them out on the lake today. Part of this fish thing. Okay, um, yeah, let's do the sack. <laughs> Fishing, what? what is neatly packed? Right, obviously hasn't been used recently. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm the best. Yeah, you are. Okay. <laughs> Precisely. Nothing here. Okay, um I'm tired. I will just finish by going back home Let's now. See. They should have known better. Yeah, but this is no match for us. This is just a castle room. Mm -hmm. Nice throw, Jubilost. Battery, just run him down. Okay, here we go. Um, let's put on this and kill it. Hey, Harim. Oh, off you go. I fought against battle rooms before. They are not very strong. Level 3 and... That one. Oh, another tassel room. Mm 
Come on. Don't have to have to do a critical hit. That that's the room. Yeah. Uh, I'm really too tired. Um, my hand is on the space button and I can't control when I'm pressing it. I shouldn't do that. Uh, okay. No! Not again such a person. Not again one of these tricks. Unworthy. Okay, Chubinos, um, kill the Petzl room. Yeah, you really killed one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that. And let's just kill. Really? Become as dust. Okay, that's that. And there's a and there she is. Wretched thing. No, no, I didn't want to press this. Oh, come on. Oh, no, go away, confusion spell. I'll loot your corpse. A displacement, yay! Uh, and one of the mirror images is gone. Um, And Rigo is still confused. Nice. And now the Nixie is gone and we don't see her. It's also nice. Repent. We lost one. Mm -hmm. Stab their backs. Oh, yes.
No. Oh. Too tired. I should go to bed. Advance. We don't have any skeletons to do our work, which is bad. Oh, come on. You could have hit better. I'm pretty sure about that. Go away. I'll cut you. Cover me. Your life ebbs low. Unworthy. Oh, this is so a fine use of my talents. Ooh. Yes, it is a fine use of your talents because you hit. Stay behind me. Victory is inevitable. Twenty one damage. Your death awaits. Um. Yeah. Hmm. What a waste. Ugh. He just wretched things. Oh, Keep this up much longer. Wait, Valerie. The end draws near. I'm restless. Okay, okay. This was. Heart didn't see that they were still confused. <sighs> okay. Okay, what's that? The corpse of a tall man lies torn apart on the shore. Man was probably an experienced what fighter in life, but it didn't do him much good in the end. You notice a tuft of red fur clenched in the dead man's hand. Whoever killed this man, it seems unlikely it was a tatzel worm. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I can remember this story again. I mean, we could climb up here, but we will not. This is just stupid. Just go around. I think we found everything here. Let's move out and do some... Hey, there is someone green near right that don't want to attack you. Nix is slim and disheveled, is sobbing, noticing strangers. She flinches. Not again. What are you doing here? What do you want? Go away. If my family sees you, 
You're as good as that, I promise. Okay. No. I mean, we are as good as that, but they are dead. Actually dead. Mm. What's your name? I'm Hooper. This lake is our home, though we've let other people live around here too. Oh, we never should have done that. We should have chased those fools, foolish bumpkins away as soon as they started building their houses here. Now they've brought disaster down on us all. Oh, I'm crying. I had her face in her hands. My family kicked me out, all because of what I did to that stupid boat. Everyone was furious when the evil box fell in the lake. But I was just trying to do the right thing. Evil box? Hmm. Those men brought trouble. The ones from the big boat. They came from Tours of Lebanese. What Lebanese is. Okay. And brought that scary box with them. Even the fish in the lake held it box was very, very evil, but those fools on the boat just laughed, bowing to the box, calling themselves Karen's Chosen or something. They claimed he'd reward them soon. I was the one who rewarded them, though. I made them crash that big boat against the foot of the high cliff and sink themselves. Ah, that's probably the reason for the fish. What did you Karen, that is bad, very bad. Harry frowns, tugging on, on his beard. An ancient evil deity. I thought only historians would remember him now, if he still has an active cult these days. Hmm. Did you drown those travelers? Yes, that was the last anyone saw of them. Evil box sunk too. Nixie sobs. I hadn't done it. They'd have opened the box, you understand? Then something terrible would have happened. What's in the box? How should I know? I just know the box is evil. Everyone but the stupid humans can sense it. Fish started jumping ashore after the box fell in the lake. Wolves took their hunting up north to get away from it. And the humans wanted to open it. First the ones from the boat, and now these other ones came for it. Ah, hmm. That's quite a story. But what does it have to do with me? Now the Nixies are mad at all strangers, they say. All strangers bring us trouble. First they brought the horrible ancient thing here, and now other strangers are trying to fish it out of the lake and open drive everyone but us Nixes away. Then we'll have peace and quiet again, like before. Hmm. I like humans, especially human children. They are so awkward and funny. I used to play with the two kids from the House of the West, until they stopped coming for some reason. But I don't want my family to fight the humans. You said someone's trying to open the box again? Who is it? More strangers, they hid in the cave near the lake. Oh, we didn't find the cave. We'll have to look for that. Uh, treasure, treasure, that's what they say. How can that thing be a treasure? It's a huge scary box that has a picture of one-eyed skull with a coin on it. Ah, it's one of the cyclopses. I don't know where it came from, but I know it's somewhere I'd never want to visit. Can I? Um, you look really strong. Can you do something about that evil box? Maybe. I just wish it would disappear and all the other Nixes would forgive me and stop being angry at, at the humans. Yeah, evil character. 
would ask for some money. If you help me with that box, I'll give you a chest I found on the sunken boat. It's not creepy like the evil box, just coins and trinkets inside. Deal. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just be careful, please. That box is creepy. Okay. We will be... The scary box. Um, must be somewhere around here. Ah, there is a way down there, probably. I'll have to... Yeah, let's stop for today. I will move out here and next and we will take some rest and we will start here again. Until then, see you. Bye.